This Tarless movie Super Saiyan Goku got an easy A, and I'll be honest with y'all, I'm not sure how good he's going to be, but he has some interesting stuff in his kit. Now, just breaking him down real quick here, his super attack effect does supreme damage to enemy, greatly lowers defense, but it does have an all allies defense raise of 30% for the turn. Now, the issue with that is that this guy doesn't really seem like he's going to be a slot 1 unit, but at bare minimum, I do like the, at least him getting the 30% defense raise on super attack, but it's like, I don't know, it's like your allies aren't really going to benefit from this too much. As a sub easy A, this guy is likely going to be like a floating unit on the team. So he does create int key spheres uh, into physical key spheres. He gets key 2 with an 130% attack and defense, and he gets power of wishes category allies 30% attack and defense support, which I do like, right? Power of wishes is a category that has been getting buffed a lot during the 8th year of Dokkan, right? I mean, if you just take a look at the recent releases, we literally just got like Boma, for example. Um, maybe I should have ran him on the this uh, Vegeta and Goku team because of the Bomo support, but it's fine. I mean, in red zone, I'll probably... I'm, I'm going to take this guy to at least one red zone fight, and we'll show him on that team with Bomo support. So this, this is just more like a general look of him, but that team has been getting a lot of buffs recently, right? Um, Now, this guy obviously is a nuking unit. He does get 25% attack, 50% defense, and then 5% critical hit chance per keys for obtained. Um, so right here we have Sane Warrior Race, Prepare for Battle, and then Fierce Battle all active here. A lot of his best linking partners are just not here right now. So we're just going to put him... Um, I want to get as many keys for his, I just don't want Bardock to one-shot this guy. So I'm going to grab this here. We're going to be able to get, what, six key stars with this Goku. So his defense starting off is 155k. Then now once we grab all these orbs here, he's at 317k. So once he super attacks, he's around 400k defense. Well, probably going to be higher than that because keep in mind, Gohan... He's giving 30% support now, but once we grab these key spheres, he's giving an extra 20%. Not, like, going to be the biggest change, though. Probably, like, what, 317k to around 330k. So, again, around, like, 440k defense or so, which is not, like, terrible, considering that he doesn't have, like, all in the family active. I think that's a pretty important link for this guy. So, what is that? Was that a formal attack stat? That's pretty bad. Yeah, <laughs> not really an impressive tax that whatsoever. Uh, he does want to get under a certain HP threshold. So I'm going to try and get that if possible. Um, maybe this guy might be able to take enough damage. Who knows? I mean, it's the legendary Goku event or this is actually the legendary Vegeta event. My bad. By the way, it's like 4 a.m. when I'm recording this. So if I like make any small mess ups, uh, that's why. <laughs> Goku have his information right in front of me, so I'm all good there. But if you're under 50% HP, or 59% HP, my apologies, he gets three turns, extra 25% attack per keys for obtained. Okay, I said that really weird. So if you're under 59% HP at the start of turn, he does change an additional type that isn't int and physical type to physical type key spheres. Then he gets an extra 25% attack four keys for obtained and that actually does last for three turns so even if you enter the turn after that and you're above 59 percent hp he still does actually keep that buff which is really really good here so massive difference in orbs we're getting 11 key spheres this time instead of just the six we got last time so yeah and his defense right here is not bad at all 435k before he super attacks and again, he gets 30% after he super. So in a situation like this, he's able to take every single normal attack in the game, which is, I think, acceptable Like for a sub easy a unit. That's where I'm like drawing the line. For sub easy A's, I'm not like trying to expect a lot from them. I mean, that attack set is still pretty low. It's like the only thing is that like, I don't want to expect too much from this guy, but we also just got the Great Ape Turles, which now that I'm using him right after using that Turles, I kind of wish I did it the opposite way because that Turles just feels much, much better than this Goku. 
But we'll see next turn. It could be a pretty big difference potentially. Um, we'll grab this here. We'll grab this here. Then we want this guy to be floating around with his extra support. Um, that's going to be just a super, super good turn we get. So we want him next to Kid Gohan. With Kid Gohan, he's actually going to get All in the Family. So it'll be All in the Family. I believe it'll be a Z Fire just as well. See, I could bring up the complete links that they share but i believe it's all in the family z fighters fierce battle and then what's the last one saiyan warrior race which will give us what is that 50 percent attack and 20 percent defense from links in total i mean that's going to be a pretty substantial buff there okay so how many orbs can we get with goku seven keys first i think seven is like a reasonable amount of keys for us to get on a team like this where there's like a billion orb changers seven is perfectly fine he does not need a certain type of key sphere so i'm not actually going to grab the physical orbs because i don't want to heal here so he's at 374k defense and again with the 30 percent he gets on super attack i do actually think he's cracking a little above 500k defense here and he's hitting for 4.2 mil yeah what if we're able to fall under the 50 percent hp threshold that's when things will start looking a lot better for this goku because then he'll actually get the extra 25 percent attack per keys for obtained and i think that will actually be pretty massive difference so next turn we should still have the scout up hopefully we can see where the super attack is and place like one of our physical units in front of it. no scouter huh well, I guess we're just going to hope that one of my physical units gets super attacked here. Uh, that would be ideal. I mean, I guess Bardock getting super attacked too, he might get us under the 59% HP threshold. I just would really like to see, um, hopefully, our Goku getting the full pass. So that's going to be pretty cool, right? I think hopefully getting him the double orb changing. Maybe he gets a bunch of key spheres on rotation. Please super right here. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, he would have dodged anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. Dude, this guy just doesn't want to super attack me, huh? That sucks for sure. Maybe super attack here? No. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, the super attack's right at the end there, huh? We can still get seven key spheres here. Okay, that's not bad. So, another seven key sphere turn. We'll get these with you. And then, again, Gohan is going to be going to be giving us an extra amount of support here so he's over 400k defense start of turn with just seven key spheres with the 50 percent support with gohan to be fair but yeah i mean not really like you're going to be running this goku on rotation but it'll be good to see what his extra numbers could potentially be so i think i'm gonna skip ahead from here and we're gonna try and get a rotation where he has his full passive and hopefully i'll rotate with gohan and his full passive like the tech gohan and then we could be cooking potentially so we were able to get under 59% HP. So you could see the double orb changing in effect there, which is pretty cool. Um, we can get eight key spheres. I mean, I could do this. We can get a ton of key spheres. I'm just worried about Gohan dying, but or Gohan killing Vegeta. Yeah, 13 orbs right here is going to be quite a lot. Um, and he's at 350k demons without support. Uh, oh, keep in mind. Um, has even actually debuffed last turn very unfortunately but it's fine so hopefully kid gohan does not kill here um not really built up much so he should be okay at least with this vegeta should not die this is a free dupe kid gohan as well man i can't wait to get dupes in this kid gohan too that's gonna be pretty sick yeah again he got the attack buff right there so what kind of attack can we see from this goku that's a pretty big difference now it's 9.2 Getting the extra 25% attack per orb definitely does matter. And again, uh, with 13 key spheres, he had 5% chance to crit with each of them. So how many, how much chance of a crit that is? That's, I think that's a 60% chance to crit, 65% chance to crit, which is a lot, right? That's a pretty big chance if you're able to get all those key spheres, right? So next turn is going to be the big turn. And again, we'll... We'll save all these key spheres. We could set up the key sphere field for him. That's going to be pretty cool. Okay, let me save all these in key spheres. And hopefully, I guess he changes the S tier ones, maybe. And that could be pretty sick to see. All right, so here we go. That's a lot of key spheres we get with this guy. This is easily going to be his best rotation. 11 orbs. 
pretty good amount right there. So he's getting what links he's getting. Everything here except for in fighter. And then is that experienced fighters that he's missing? I believe so. Yeah, experienced fighters and in fighter, which is 30% attack. You're leaving off the table, but this link set is very odd for Goku, right? A lot of units don't have like a very similar link set. We're also getting Saiyan Warrior Race when this kid Gohan and 50% support once we collect the orbs. Yeah, he's at 537k start of turn. This is going to be his best rotation in the video. Very juiced up, but you know, I don't care. <laughs> we're going to see what he's going to do here and we're going to like it. So hopefully he gets a pretty nice attack. So I'm thinking he probably will hit 10 mil here, which is not bad because I mean, he has no multiplicative buffs in his passive which is pretty funny he's just a nuking unit he doesn't get any attack and defense on super attack like in his passive or anything this is just him right um which i guess you know if they if they gave him like 59 percent attack and defense on super attack he would actually be like really good at that point but at this point he's like a solid unit and i think that he's fine right if you're able to kind of set him up he's going to be good for like battlefield super battle run in certain situations right i could see him like i could see in a situation where you're in super battle world you're under 59 percent hp then this guy double orb changes to physical and then if, even if it's not him picking up all those key spheres you get a physical unit to pick up all those key spheres like i don't know physical ultimate gohan or something and then you basically explode with hp recovery and that guy is able to get his 24 key and you kill the enemy right Stuff like that, right? Where this guy could be really useful. Um, otherwise, I don't really expect him to be really that great in red zone. I'm going to take him into the red zone stage probably tomorrow. Just as an experiment, we'll see what he's going to be able to do. But I'm not really that optimistic. Let me know what y'all think, though, of this new base form Goku ZA. And I'll catch you in the next one.